Sam's Flory Models daily vlog. Here we are on the 6th of February 2017 for another fantastic week. Now this week's going to be a little bit different for me. Uh, purely because we've only got four days. Uh, end of the week on Friday we're travelling up north, uh, up to Huddersfield to see Steve uh, and then obviously we're going to have a look around the Huddersfield show on Sunday uh, and everything else like that. Okay so this week's going to be a little bit compressed because obviously I've got to do everything sort of a day earlier so I'm going to have to do like the Friday show on Thursday. You'll still see it on Friday but obviously I won't upload it till first thing in the morning. That way from you guys, nothing changed for, but from me, I'll lose a day. Uh, then obviously we're up there over the entire weekend, we're not travelling back till the Monday, so Monday will be a short day because we probably won't get back till mid-afternoon, so Monday might go a little bit out of the way. But that said, I would fear not, I've got loads of bits for the A10 coming up before you. I've got a part coming up today, probably going to get a part Wednesday, and then that way I'll have a load to come through. Because we're taking our time with this one to show you in depth detail like doing the cockpit, the resin, the painting, using the resin uh, cockpit and colour photo etch together on the instrument panel. I show that quite in depth. Um, so really it's going to be one of those things where I'm going to slightly push ahead and then you can catch up with me. So with any luck we'll have a couple of bits in the bag and I'm going to do a couple of reviews for you before the end of the week because we've got that great Iowata HPC Plus to review and we're going to give it away. Uh, so we've got that one coming up and also we say we've still got things popping in like we had the actual uh, strike uh, tie striker that came in as well uh, last week so we've got love other reviews down there I've just literally got to get through them but hopefully now the A10 is pushing on so nicely that it will start to move out of the way I've still got to do the engines and everything else to be honest I'm doing that down in front here um, but the thing is from the A10's point of view that's the dirty horrible stuff out of the way a lot of it's going to be in the paint booth now so we can actually push that out of the way and I can get the reviews and get on with those. I do have to thank all your kind comments for the Friday show, you bunch of tight gears. You're all just after the freebie, aren't you? But we are going to give away a full set of sanders, so that's the 10 pack of sanders and everything. I will pick somebody this afternoon, and then when I come back with you this afternoon, I'll announce the winner. But thank you so much for the kind comments and everything else like that. All weekend, that's all I've heard. Everybody's been messaging me and saying, yeah, cheers, Phil, and everything else like that. And it's true. I think we're going to have it as a bit of a logo on our new T-shirts. As you might know, we've got some big changes coming next month. It's going to start to filter in. I will talk about them all when we get there. Um, it's going to affect sort of everything. Uh, but in a nutshell, we've got so big now. Uh, I can't cope, as we spoke about uh, last year. So we're ramping everything up. Um, we've got staff coming in. Um, we've got changes galore, which I would say I don't want to speak about now because some of them are going to be quite in depth and you guys are going to have to uh, know about some of them. Okay, but I need to sort things out as well. Hence whilst I've been with solicitors, accountants, business managers at the bank and everything over the last couple of weeks. Got another appointment with the accountant tomorrow to sort the last bits and pieces out and sign some paperwork there. Um, so yes, it's, it's going to be a few big changes, but you're going to love them. It's all for the best. Um, one little part, it's a horrible little thing which obviously we're going to have to work out between us um, but as you say that's on the money side of it and all the rest of it and VAT and all you know if you're in the UK you know all about those things anywhere in the world really but yes you know VAT is going to raise its ugly head so we're going to have to do something about that but generally um, as I say it's just going to be hopefully more guys for you it's going to free me up lovely uh, and all those things so I'm really really looking forward to it but that's why we haven't done the t-shirts and things like that because um, we've got the new XL ones I've got design for them but I need a new company to do them and it's all these little things that hopefully when we get a few bits of help going on here uh, that they're going to be doing that side of it for me that frees me up so they can then really push on with it and hopefully get those sorted. In a moment I'm just about to actually phone up the people who do our medals after I've done this and say where the hell are they because they assured me they would have been here beginning of the last week uh, and I haven't heard anything from them so I'm going to chase them up in a moment find out where those are but hopefully they'll be in this week we can get those sorted and again I'll be after all your addresses and your things like that and we will get those out to you. But I must say, you said that it was fantastic on Friday. I had a great weekend. I um, must admit, I went and saw the rugby uh, and had a, a lovely thing with that. It was the under 21s, I must say, uh, but we still won. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was a really nice weekend. And then reading your comments tonight, it was a real good slap on my back almost it felt like right we're doing something right obviously when I was speaking last sort of year back end of last year I did that video I know most of you haven't seen it the members just saw that one when I explained that I was just feeling burnt out and I was just feeling tired and not well and everything else like that um, now I'm 
back up here, you know, and it is fantastic. But it is this more leisurely pace, and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it a little bit more. The weekly roundup on the Friday, I've heard everybody loves it. Um, so it's just that little bit of insight where, obviously, though, these vlogs, I enjoy doing these vlogs. I enjoy putting a bit of music to it. I enjoy showing you behind the scenes and everything else. Um, but also, the Friday being a little bit more formal, for you guys who haven't got time to sit and watch us all week long, you can see what we did and if there was something interesting like tool time and stuff like that you can go back and have a look at it okay because obviously it was like well you didn't know we'd done it but then you've seen it on Friday you can go back to whatever day we did it on and you can go in there and find that little snippet of information on it so for you guys who are pressured for time and I know it was annoying as hell where you couldn't keep up with the amount of work we were doing but now it gives you an opportunity to cherry pick the best ones you want to do uh, and don't feel pressured into it that you've missed something or anything else like that so that's really what the Friday roundup is all about that you don't have to watch all of these but if you do you can come back and get the best bits of it okay and for you guys who watch it all the time thumbs up good on you thanks for joining me so this morning uh, to be honest i've been editing that's why we're down here at half past 10 so i've been editing two more parts uh, for the a ten, which is going to be today's and wednesday's that will be up with you uh, one up this afternoon to say it's going to talk all about cockpit painting uh detailing and starting off with the photo etch color photo etch uh, and putting that into it i'm down here now to sand and take care of it because to be honest it is just sat down there okay so that is now all ready for sanding and painting um, and seam checking when I say painting is just check all the seams and everything and make sure they're all good and then what we're going to do is uh, hopefully I'll get in there mask up the canopy so that can be sitted onto it the engine deck on the back I'm probably going to do a little bit more test fitting uh, this little guy on the top is a right paint to fit in there um, so we're going to get that put on and then that way the model is seam free and good to go and everything else so what we can actually do then is get it over in there if we wanted to get the primer coat on it so that's got a couple of days to go off and dry uh, and everything else like that and then what we can actually do is then start getting other things done around here so we get the engines done so when it comes out of paint it'll be like the real aircraft then we can install the engines into it then we can do all those bits and then what we'll do is is weather everything as a whole when it is all together so very much pushing on with it and very much enjoying it so that's it for now catch you at lunchtime okay welcome back now i haven't got on with this pretty much as much as I wanted to. I have found a little few sink marks, various holes in that which I've gone around and re-glued and re-sorted out. And to be honest, I've gone back to the old fashioned way, purely because of speed, uh, of super glue. Uh, so I've super glued a few little holes, and I know you can't really see it there, but I've got a few little holes just down in here, a few little nicks in that, a little bit of sink mark. Now, I'm not too sure if that's the glue, perhaps um, the actual plastic magic we've used on this time is perhaps a little bit more hotter, uh, and it's softening the plastic more than traditional Tamiya Extra Thin. I don't think so because it hasn't done it on the usual places. The usual places you see it's like leading edges and stuff like that. But there is a few little sink marks in there. And again, because of the size of this thing, it is that thing where if you leave them there, they're just going to stand out like sore thumb. Okay, so really you need to take your time, take a step back from it. I've been working on the engines a bit. I've started working on the gear as well, just to make sure all of those areas are good. And you might notice now we've actually got the refueling door in. We've put the little cover in as well for the heads up display to be fitted. So that way I can really get this thing buttoned up uh, and we move on the way we go. But again, it's that thing I often speak about it is that with me, I sort of speed build. Um, I do this because, well, used to, not so much now, I tend to slow it down a bit now, but used to do that thing of like build, build, build. Um, and then what can happen is things can come back and bite you. One of those is sink marks in plastic. Now, if you're using those old school uh, glues and stuff like that, you know, the ones in the tube and all those, or super glue, obviously you don't have to worry about shrinkage. But if you're using the modern weld action glue, so we're talking like, you know, plastic magic or extra thin or any of the other ones that it's going to soften the plastic slightly. And also when you're sanding like this, quite a lot of sanding work, you generate heat. That heat also softens the plastic. And what can happen is, is that whilst you do this and you think, yeah, that's perfect. No problem at all. Put down a little bit of paint, check the seam and everything else. Looks great, you've painted it, I've deckled it, fully weathered, I've put the model away, and then I've gone back into my cabinet. The Hawk is a classic example of this. And then you look at it and suddenly, it's got a bit of a dent just along the panel line. Not all the way, but it's very noticeable, okay? And that's purely where, over time, the glue, has, where it's softened the actual styrene itself, has then shrunk a little bit. And because it's shrunk as it's dried, it's left a little sink mark 
really, really annoying, especially if you finish a model and you know it was fine when you went into paint and all the rest of it. So I often say these days, it's nice to be able to do the glue work like we did on this and then leave it for a couple of days. And to be honest, I glued this thing up totally on Friday. I haven't touched it till today. And then we'd come in today, had a look at it and we've gone, right, okay, we've got a thing there we need to fix. We've got a thing there we need to fix. And we've gone along and we've done them sanded it and then still got a little bit of a problem and instead of coming back in with more glue I've just done a little bit of super glue put it down on there a little bit of kicker okay let that dry off naturally and then come back in and sand it and I think we've got there now but again it's that thing of spending that extra sort of 10 minutes making sure you're okay and then leave it to one side go off and do another job okay then something like this type of project is not a problem because we've got engines over there we've got gear to do we've got weapons down there pylons loads to do on it so it's not like you're not you know you're just kicking around and wasting time it's going to be fine it's just going to take a little bit of time to get there but nevertheless it's coming along really really nicely we have gone down in here to be honest we had a little bit of seam work just down in here but we've taken care of that now we had a little bit on the nose we've taken care of that now okay this down in here the trouble i've got is it's lots of detail down in here so it is that thing where you're just about to wreck all that beautiful stuff but I'm hoping tomorrow, um, I've got to pop out probably in the morning, but in the afternoon I'm going to come in and we'll show about re-riveting raised rivets. And we're going to use the Archer set for it, so it should be a little bit interesting on that. But generally, as you can see under here, everything's going according to plan. It is coming along quite nicely. Um, it is a big old lump. Anyway, as we said earlier, thank you very much for all the very kind comments on Friday. And as a little bit of a thank you for you know, YouTube being nice and kind and full of the idiots. It seems we've lost a few of those. I don't know where they've gone. But anyway, from as a little bit of a thank you for all your great comments and that, because I know not everyone's a subscriber, not really can afford it and all the bits and pieces like that. And I do say bits and pieces, t-shirts are available. Uh, but obviously I'd give a little bit of a prize. Now I'm not going to do this every week because obviously it'll cost me an absolute fortune, but we'll do it from time to time. A few little freebies out for the YouTube guys as well uh, and stuff like that. So anyway, little one here is a full set of Floyd model sanders. I know it's a shameless plug, but there's a video on this. I'll link it down below. You can catch that out and have a look at it, okay? And everything else about our sander range. To be honest, I think they're the best thing slight spread, and I can assure you now, every single person who has bought these, and that runs into tens of thousands of now, all agree with me. These aren't just nail files and stuff you'll get from other manufacturers. These are actually specifically made for sanding styrene. That's what they were done for, that's what they're designed to do. So it's not just a standard, you know, nail file company knocking out actually, you know, stuff for the modeler and then them charging another 200% for it. These are actually designed for working with styrene. It won't overheat the plastic, it's not going to tear into the plastic. It'll work very well with any type of styrene or any type of clear parts or stuff like that, as you'll see in the video to this one. Anyway, enough of this homeless advert. This is going to go to David. As simple as that. Your username's David. You must have been on YouTube like the day I did, which was like, I think day two of it opened, to get a username like that. But it is as simple as just David. So congratulations to you, David. I will send you a message via um, YouTube, okay? Now, I've never done anything with YouTube like this before, but I'll put you a little thing in your comment to say you've won as well. But if you don't get it, hit me up with it. Do it via the Contact Me page on the site and all the rest of it, if you don't do it. But try and do it via YouTube, that because I know where up and you get 100 people saying, oh, I'm David. Uh, but you've got these, and I'll get them into the post. I don't know where you are in the world. Wherever it is, I will send them off to you, and I'll get them off to you straight away as soon as I've got your address. Speaking of which... I'm happy to report. And now I didn't have to chase them up because after I came off air this morning with you guys, I looked at my emails and I had an email saying that the medals are actually ready. Now, as you know, we have those done locally here. So tomorrow I've got, say, a couple of appointments in the morning, uh, business things, and then I'm going to pop over and I'm going to grab the medals, okay? So when I come back tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll actually talk about how you can claim your medal and all the various things. So obviously I need your postal details and everybody will get some sanders, um, some stickers. Not going to do the full set of stickers because most of you get this every every time, but we're going to do some stickers, um, some badges and various things like that as we make our way through. But I'll speak about more of those tomorrow and I've actually got them in my grubby little mitts. But as you know, everyone who takes part in the group builds, you do get a medal and a little something as well. Anyway, going to leave you. Uh, we've got part three of the ATM Builders up with you now. It's going to be all about the cockpit, literally. It's from literally painting the cockpit to doing the photo etch work. And then the last bit, you'll see it all together. So roughly you're about a week behind where I am. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to carry on with this thing, get this thing sanded up and everything else like that. And then tomorrow what we do, we'll come back for checking it seamless and all the bits and pieces like that tomorrow afternoon. And we'll make sure 
we're all good. And then hopefully if I've got time in the afternoon, because I wanted to call it Tool Tuesday, we'll have a look at my next tool cabinet and what's in there and why I use it. It's more about airbrushing and tools and things like that in there. So if you're into that side of it, you'll see a lot of the bits and pieces that I've got in there, as well as small little grub screws and nuts and bolts, because that's all on that side. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll catch you all tomorrow.